Hey everybody and welcome to another spontaneous toy review here at Toy Wizards, that's toy-wizards.com and today's review is Green Lantern John Stewart Green Lantern from the DC Multiverse line at McFarland Toys. Now I know a lot of you are like, Scott, how much is Todd paying you to talk about them so well? Well, first of all, I don't talk well. And third, he doesn't pay me anything. Not a bit, not a dime. Even when I supplied uh, information on how to do the Destiny figures, not a dime. Let's open him up. I'm excited for this. Now, John Stewart is not the first Green Lantern we've gotten from the line. The first one was actually a bad Batman. Um, however, people are really excited to get Jon Stewart. So am I. And it shows that we will get more Green Lanterns as time comes along. This is a very nice piece. Uh, the sculpt is great. I know when we did some articles about the uh, uh, piece coming out, people are like, what's wrong with his lips? And I tried to explain, like, that's just the paint master. The production will not have as dark of painted lips this one certainly does not so told you that just happens in the paint world you know when you're trying to make things pop for photos and it doesn't always work all right can we get you out of here boom now what's also very exciting especially for some of you customizers is that, man, you could use that machine gun on G.I. Joe. Just paint that machine gun up. Absolutely. Uh, John Stewart does come with some armor. I'm going to take that off right off the bat just so I can get to the figure. Now, this is our first human regular Green Lantern corpse figure. Uh, they did definitely, take, they definitely took some uh, liberties with the costume to make it a little bit newer than some of the other Green Lantern figures that we've had. Totally fine with that. Totally cool with that. There is a nice bit of articulation in the arms and wrists, so you can really get that, you know, power there. The sculpt on the face for John Stewart is really nice. I like it. I like John Stewart as the Green as a Green Lantern too. Uh, Hal Jordan hangs out with Green Arrow in my my world because I grew up with those comics. But then as we got into the animated series, they couldn't use Hal for some reason. So they'd use Jon Stewart. And Jon Stewart, for a large portion of the fandom, is their Green Lantern because they grew up on the Justice League cartoon. And therefore, that's going to be their Green Lantern, is Jon Stewart. And that's phenomenal. It's great. It's a great character. And uh, if you were ever watching in the Arrowverse, in Arrow, his buddy the whole time, his actual last name was Stewart. Yeah, he was John Stewart. They just like, where's your ring? Oh, what ring? Yeah, they played that off once in an episode. I'm like, you guys have been doing this the whole time. You gave us hard traveling heroes and then just never let the payoff by giving him the Green Lantern ring because Warner Brothers is stupid. Yeah. They really hold back on Green Lantern for some reason. And it's, it's a property they could use so well and so much stuff. And not to mention, a live-action Green Lantern needs to be Nathan Fillion. He plays it in the uh, in several of the movies and animated things. But Nathan Fillion would be an awesome Green Lantern. I'm sorry, Ryan Reynolds. I know you hated doing it anyways. Nathan Fillion is our Green Lantern. This figure, superb. I really like it. There's a new, like, he's got a big, soft chest piece there. But it does work for making lots of pose movements. I love the new costume. The sculpt on him is great. The face sculpt on him is great. The paint is great. Remember, the paint on the actual figure differs from the paint master. 
Um, he does have this little armor you can just kind of put off and over, which is a nice little added effect there. And he comes with a giant machine gun, which, you know, you can never go wrong with a giant machine gun. Let's see if I can get this into his hand. That's always a hard thing for me in these modern figures is that my fingers are just too big to like scoop the f his fingers out of the way and get stuff in there. So I have to really try hard to get a, uh, anything inside somebody's hands these days. But sometimes I can just manhandle it enough to get it in there. Boom, there we go. Now get the other hand on that barrel. I'm really good at just, I think I'm just gonna repaint this gun for uh, G.I. Joe. It's such a good gun. Boom. Because Jon Stewart's a military man, he often comes up with military solutions with his ring. As a difference to Hal Jordan, which is a flyer and a test pilot. And so he'll come up with more wacky things. Like, I'm going to drop a house on you. Jon Stewart drops a tank on you. It's just how they use their powers. Now, next up in this line, I want Kyle Rayner. I want Hal Jordan. I want Kilowog. I want Gnort. I know. I know what you're thinking, but I want Gnort. I do. Oh, man. Superb. Wow, this is awesome. I just got chills, like, looking at him with his machine gun on and his armor on. And, like, dude, this is seriously a really nice figure. We get so much more detail than we did from Mattel on these DC Multiverse figures. Mattel tends to make figures just for kids. Like, oh, we're going to make a child figure. We're going to cut the paint apps. We're going to cut the sculpt. Make it simple. Get it out there. And McFarlane's much more of the artistic side is like, I want to make something look cool. How can we make it look cool? Let's put a joint in sideways so you can make it pose better. That's McFarlane. This is a great example of what we're getting now for the McFarlane figures in the terms of posability, sculpt, design, and its final aesthetic is brilliant. This is so nice. And it's not a Batman figure. Who knew McFarlane could make figures that weren't Batman? Wow. Uh, I know his Batman figures have been great, but dude, you couldn't be making stuff like this the whole time. Why aren't you doing it? Because this is neat. This is really, really nice. I, wanna, I would buy more... DC Universe figures, if you're going to make them like this, then I, I'm totally on board. I just, you know, I can't do much more about the 27 Batmans I already have out of 68 Batmans that it's just too many Batmans. We know it's what sells, it's what Walmart buys, it's what Target buys. I want to buy stuff like this. And I did. As soon as I saw them, whoop, right off the shelf. Target, found them, reviewed them. Here you go. John Stewart, Green Lantern, and uh, no fear shall escape his mind. See you later. Please follow us on social media, on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, and like and subscribe to these videos so we can keep bringing you such great content. Oh, so. Uh, no, indeed.